Hey guys, I uh, so I just wanted to show off uh, a project I've been working on here a little bit. It's a little uh, video adapter board that uh, attaches to the RGB port on the on a Coco 3, and uh, it outputs composite as well as S video, and uh, you know so it connects with the a ribbon cable like that to the bottom of the Coco. It's got plus five volts of power going into it and then a couple of video cables out. Now, I've been working on this uh, for a while on and off and the simplest way I could find to get a synced clock to the Coco was to actually tap the clock circuit that feeds the gimme here and run it out to one of the pins on the RGB port. Now the pin that I used, it was normally used or put in there to be used as a monitor sense connection of some kind and what it does is it runs a line to one of the PIAs um, with a pull-up resistor and then through a series resistor to one of the inputs there so that the computer could actually tell if something was hooked up there I assume they just grounded it on the monitor side since there's a pull-up and but that was never really used by anything so I kinda consider it a pin that we can use to get the clock out here and the uh, pull-up and series resistor that I mentioned are right here next to the PIA that has one input hooked up to that and I just clipped uh, the ends of those resistors to get them off of that line so it won't disturb the clock that we're tapping for our video board. So, I'll just quickly put this back together here. And we will fire it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're all back together there. We got our board hooked up. And we're going to turn it on here. I will get that set up so we can look at the screen. And this is S-Video. It's the SDC Explorer here, and basically this isn't going to be as sharp as, say, it is pretty sharp, I mean, you can see that, but uh, as like a, a VGA mod or something, I mean, this is NTSC video even, S video is pretty sharp, um, you know, it is what it is. So, we'll take a look at it here. Okay, so let's look at some Coco 3 games, maybe, that use the RGB port. And uh, I think this is a Sierra game, or one that somebody made, based on the engine. Not too sure. It should show us some video here. So you can see it's it's not too bad at all. Um, and you know the camera does look a little different than what you actually see in in front of you based on the little screen I'm looking at here. It might be different when I get it on the computer, but there's that. I've never loaded this up before. I have no clue what's here. But there goes some color.
Well, there's that one. <laughs> Let's see. What else? I'm not even sure what is here, frankly. Kind of a Tetris clone. Let's see what that looks like. Yes, we have an RGB monitor. And let's start it. See, that doesn't look too bad. I'm jumping. So, anyway, this video looks pretty, pretty decent there for a game. As long as it's an RGB game, you know, that's kind of what that would look like. Pretty clear, pretty crisp. I mean, you can see individual pixels showing up there, pretty sharply outlined. So, not too bad at all. And of course, the 32 column text is pretty sharp. Let's see, now with certain um, with certain color combinations it doesn't look too good for 80 column, but I mean you can see that's not bad at all. It's totally readable with this video. can do a little 80 column provided you don't use a difficult to read color combo and by pulling out the S video cable here I can switch over to uh, just a straight composite and so that's the com that's the composite at 80 columns quite a bit worse but hey, you, can make, you can still make it out but that'll probably get tiring to look at after a while in 80 columns. But S video, not not too bad. So let's see. I'll show you the. It does do artifact colors. Uh, now this is the composite, and th I think this is still better than the built-in composite on the the Coco 3, which is actually pretty bad. You know, this is primarily an S video adapter, but I did include the composite because it wasn't too hard to add in. Um, so it's there, and it works. It'll give you, you know, the output from Coco 3 RGB color games composite that'll be a lot better than the built-in composite was for sure and you can run a Coco 2 game that depends on the um, artifact colors it does support artifacts but there is kind of a, a caveat there in that the the phase that produces the color artifacts you have to adjust like with this little button right here and it's long like that so that somebody could print a case or something and as I click this you're gonna see that color change and 
Looks kind of weird on the camera, but I think that is the usual red. And you can go through quite a few different phases there. And here we go with a nice blue. You can select your phase. And that gives us artifact colors for our game here. I believe that's the close to the typical color combination, but you know, you could also change it a little bit. There's a little bit different red and blue. Yeah, I think that's the one. So, it does do artifacts. And it does them pretty cleanly. So. Now, it can slip out of phase into a different color phase when it's supporting artifacts like this. And right now, though, it, it's been, it holds pretty steady with the timing I have in there for about an hour, possibly more. So it's not very often you'd have to reach over there and click that button, but you could always just use the built-in composite if you didn't want to deal with that. Which, by the way, let's see what the built-in composite looks like. We'll just compare it here. That's the adapter with artifacts. And... That's the built-in. Except it's reversed. It all seems very stable. And it works pretty well. Um, I guess the the only downside would be that if you're using it for Coco 2 games with the artifacts, it can slip out of phase sometimes, and you'd have to go click that button to change your colors again. Other than that, I mean, it seems pretty good to me. So. as a lower cost option for using the RGB port you know I don't think this is too bad so I uh, guess that is it for now thanks for watching